Garrett didn't do much today, but how, how great was it to kind of see him get, get the pads back on? Uh, it's going to be great getting the, the rust knocked off. You know, trying to be smart with him. He, he came off a big injury and just want to get his, his feet back underneath him, get him uh, back to the point where he can just have a great summer. You know, have a great summer, which he wasn't able to have um, you know, at di different times in the past. So always great to see good players getting back on the field and, and feeling healthy and smiling, running around. Um, so it's, it's great to see him back on the field. One young guy who's stood out in the spring has been Leo Chanel. Um, wh what do you think he can provide to this defense? And were you sort of amazed at the strength that he has for an early enrollee, a guy who really could be in high school at this point? Yeah, Leo physically very impressive. You know, the, the strength, the speed, um, the way he moves. I've been most impressed with how he's picked up the defense. You know, he has mistakes, uh, but that's when the physicality sometimes comes into play. Um, him being here this spring is, is very big for his development. So it's awesome to get him reps and, and really push him. Um, he's embraced the work, you know, he's embraced the meetings, doing extra. He always, he's a kid that wants more all the time. So it, it's really fun to get him in the program early. and. We're excited about seeing where he can get come come the fall. All throughout last year and, and in the spring, you've had the corners kind of rotating a lot. Um, how many guys are, are really competing for those those top spots? Do you feel like it's sort of just an ongoing competition between a lot of those guys? Yeah, it really is an ongoing competition. Um, you know, last year, and I've hit it with the group. There was a lot of guys that just wanted to play. You know, they they hadn't been on the field. It was they knew there was opportunities for snaps and, and big roles and. You know, with experience, they realize there's a big difference between playing and playing well. You know, a, lo a little bit of getting humbled last year at times, struggling. Um, we had some success, right? We had success at the position, but it was inconsistent. And now, coming into spring, I think their focus is higher. You know, their understanding is higher. Um, the urgency is higher. Uh, so I think it's a great competition right now. We're rolling a lot of guys in. and. and trying to put them in the slot playing nickel, put them to the boundary, put them to the field. And um, come the fall, we'll get those roles a little bit tighter. But in the spring, we're just trying to see who can learn what and who can take the experience from last year and take that next step. That's something you wanted to, wanted to do just to, to get more guys to be able to play in the slot than maybe you, you had last year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and comfort. You know, When you're in there, you have to communicate more. When you're in there, the spacing changes. So you have to understand football a little bit better. So just trying to push and expand their knowledge of football and, and force them in situations to have to communicate, force them to play the run or blitz at times. And like I said, come fall, you know, we'll get those roles a little bit tighter. But right now we're just trying to push and see who who's willing to compete and who's willing to, to learn new things. Jim, last year, because of injuries, you rotated guys, but also you said that some guys weren't ready to play X number mm -hmm. of snaps. Do you anticipate having more guys next year who are, if need be, and if you're comfortable with them, being able to play a full game because of the, the maturity and the experience they gain? Yeah, I think so. Um, physically, you know, coming in as a young player, not everyone is prepared to play an extended role. And, and sometimes you're forced into that role. So um, I think another year of maturity, you know, another year in the weight room for some of these guys will make all the difference. Um, and now it's going to compete and winning, winning that and, and owning those roles. So, uh, like I said, right now spring is a time to really just challenge them as much as you can. Try to overload them at times and put them in different situations. And you know, come fall, you know, we want we want to get the best eleven out there every play. And you know, if that's twenty snaps for you, if that's what you can be your best, then then that's your role. But which it was in a lot of cases last year. But with injuries, they had to play more. And um, just trying to find out who can handle what at this point. And you know, come fall, I, I expect some big competitions on the back end. I think the safeties have done a great job of competing and, and making plays this spring. I've taken, we, we've taken a big jump forward, and at corners, it's been somewhat inconsistent. We've made more plays. I think there's a lot of things, you know, you kind of got to step back sometimes. We're so much better in a lot of areas. Uh, it just makes some of the other things frustrating that, that it is, but has been inconsistent. But if you look from a year ago to now, we're, we're significantly better in, in most areas. Two years ago, you guys were able to get to the quarterback a lot. Last year, not as much. And I know the injuries on the line, that ginkle being hurt. Mm -hmm. If you guys are healthier on the line this year up front, do you think you have the playmakers, both inside and outside linebacker, to help get more pressure this year? Uh, I think we do. Um, you know, last year it was a combination of inexperience and depth. Mm -hmm. And you know, with guys gaining some experience and, and hopefully having a deeper group on top of that, I, I think we'll be able to get to the quarterback a little bit better. 
Um, you know, like you said, not having a healthy Van Ginkle for more than a couple games. You know, Zach Bond was a little bit more injured than, than a lot of people understood um, at times in the season and, and battled through. So um, we're excited for that group. I think both, you know, the D-line and the outside linebacker groups have taken a big jump forward. And, you know, there's some guys that um, maybe haven't played a lot of snaps yet that are, are ready and, or, or getting ready. You know, they don't have to be game ready today, but um, you're seeing you know, fundamentally more consistency and you're seeing a little bit more urgency out of some guys because it's, they see the, you know, the competition and, and they realize there's big roles to be won and it, that's fun as a coach and now you just got to develop that and continue to push. What was Zach dealing with last year? Yeah, just little things, whether it was ankles, whether it was shoulders, you know, you, you D lineman stepping on your foot, whatever, like little things. It wasn't necessarily enough to ever get him out of the lineup, but, um, you know, in a lot of cases, you know, you had Van Ginkle's ankle, so you're trying to protect that, and maybe he was dealing with a shoulder where, you know, in a perfect world, they'd have, they'd have been on the same side, where you kind of had to pick and put one on the left, one on the right, but, you know, physically, they'd have been, been better, they'd have been a better version of themselves if they were on the, the right side based with the injuries they were dealing with. Uh, so it was little things like that. It was never, um, you know, significant injuries where they needed to miss you know, time, but, you know, inconvenience more than anything. And uh, you know, obviously when they were healthy, they were extremely disruptive. And uh, that's the, what we're most excited about. What's this the is the first. Um, really just expanding his knowledge of football. And, you know, we're trying to do some things to expand his comfort in different situations. Um, you know, he's, he's got the experience now. He's not rusty, he's healthy. Mm -hmm. So just to continue to push, you know, Last year, you were you were dealing with a significant amount of time that he was off the field, so you, you knocked a lot of rust off, and obviously he just gained a tremendous amount of experience and confidence last year. Um, so you you're pushing him, but you're just pushing him in a different way this this spring. And he said, just trying to expand some of the tools that we'll be able to go into the season with at that position, and and really especially for for a guy like him that has that experience now. Tim, this is the first time in the. the Last several years that the entire coaching staff has stayed the same from, from one year to the next. Um, how valuable do you think that continuity is? Do you notice a difference even in spring ball if everyone's been together for that long of a period? Uh, I think it helps as a staff, right? You you don't have changes to where you're trying to feel each other out or, or figure out what's right. Um, you kind of know how each other coach and, and what you need from each other. So I think you're able to get a little bit farther faster in some of your conversations. Um, I think players enjoy that, right? They, they get more comfortable because it's the same voice talking at them. They're not having to learn something new. You know, different coaches, even though it might be very similar, it's they're going to emphasize things a little bit different. And in their mind, they might be telling you the exact same job you've always done, but it comes across a little bit different. So um, I think from a confidence standpoint, the players and you said just a comfort level with your coach. You know, you're willing to to go a little bit farther with some of you, you trust. So I think that's going to help, and I've, I've seen that this offseason. I, I know it's a small sample size, but from a defensive perspective, what do you see from Graham Mertz going against him? Uh, I think Graham's had a great spring. You know, Obviously, him being one of the only new players, you're not necessarily going at his pace. Um, he's had to pick up a lot of things quickly, and I think he's handled that. I like his composure in the pocket. He moves well. He throws a good ball. It's he's very smooth, and I think all the quarterbacks have have done a great job this spring. Um, I know they've put more on them, you know, in in the run game. Certain things they've, they're asking them to do a little bit more, which is going to help them tremendously in the season. And it seems like that whole group, Graham included, is handling it well, and just like the composure of of those guys.